Hello my dear friends, I assume that you have attempted this third question before you are watching this video. This particular question involves three people, Om, Jai and Jagadish. One person belongs to the truth teller category, the other one is a liar and the third one belongs to the alternator group. One among the person is involved in a murder and it is known that only one among Om Jai and Jagadish is the murderer. We need to find out who is the murderer by looking at the statements made by them. But if we observe the statements made by Om Jai and Jagadish, we do not find the trigger statement that is I am a liar, I am not a truth teller, I am an alternator, I am not an alternator. None of these three people are making that kind of a statement. Which means we have to go by the iteration method by making some assumptions. Let me assume that Om is the truth teller. Then the first statement is true. The second statement is also true. Based on this assumption, Jai is a liar, which means the first statement is false. The second statement is also false. Jai becomes a liar. Based on this assumption, Om is a truth teller. Om becomes the truth teller. Jai becomes the liar. Then Jagadish, he has to be the alternator in the question because all the three people are involved and they belong to a different tribe among truth teller, liar, alternator. Now, we can see that Jagadish is saying Om is a liar. Om is assumed to be a truth teller. So, Om is a liar. That statement is false. Jagadish is assumed to be an alternator. So, the first statement has to be true and the second statement becomes false then. Now, you can see a logical inconsistency in this assumption. Om says I am the murderer is true which means Om is the murderer in this particular assumption. But Jagadish is saying Jai is the murderer that is becoming true here which means Jai is the murderer according to this situation. But the question says only one among Om Jai Jagadish did the murder. So here we find Om and Jai they did the murder that is two people are involved in the murder which is resulting in a conflict. The question says only one murderer but here we find two murderers. It happened because of the first assumption which we made that is Om is a truth teller. Om cannot be a truth teller. Having identified Om cannot be the truth teller, let me now go ahead with the second iteration. Let me assume Jai to be the truth teller. Then the first statement is true. The second statement is also true. According to this assumption, Jagadish is a liar. Then the first statement becomes false. The next statement also becomes false. Here itself we find a logical conflict. Jai says I am the murderer is true which means according to this assumption Jai is the murderer. But Jagadish says Jai is the murderer and that is becoming false which means according to this assumption Jai is the murderer is false which means Jai is not the murderer. We find Jai to be a murderer here and Jai not a murderer here. 
we see a logical inconsistency or a logical conflict here which means that this assumption j to be the truth teller is wrong now we have identified ohm cannot be the truth teller j cannot be the truth teller now let me assume that jagadish is the truth teller then the first statement is true the second statement is also considered to be true the second statement made by jagadish is that ohm is a liar so let me go ahead with this assumption ohm is a liar which means this is false and the second statement is also false ohm is the liar jagadish is the truth teller which means we have j we have to assume j to be the alternator now let us look at the statements made by j j says jagadish is a liar jagadish is assumed to be a truth teller so jagadish is a liar is false j turn out to be an alternator as per the assumption jagadish the truth teller which means j being the alternator this statement becomes true i can now see that j says i am the murderer that is j is the murderer is true here jagadish says j is a murderer that is also appearing to be true here so in both these situations i can find that j is the murderer o says i am the murderer is false which means o is not the murderer i can also see that o is a liar is true there is no logical inconsistency j is a liar is false because j is an alternator jagadish is a liar is false because jagadish is a truth teller likewise we do not find any logical conflict or inconsistency at this point of time the question was who is the murderer and the answer for the question is j is the murderer if you observe this question closely i have explained what is the iteration method when the trigger statements are absent i hope you have followed the explanations thank you for watching this video